Okay, so for today, uh, we'll do a demonstration on how to perform t-test for independent samples using Excel. So currently, um, our problem involves two variables. One is smoking and the other one is academic performance. So smoking in this case is a dichotomous variable and uh, the levels of the dichotomous variable would be this one, smoker and non-smoker. So the participants identify themselves as either a smoker or a non-smoker. <clears throat> Our um, dependent variable on the other hand is academic performance, which is measured as the sort of perceived uh, academic performance of the participants. Now these are college students we're talking about and uh, their academic performance is based on a sort of a rating scale and the following values, following data represent the academic performance, the perceived academic performance of the participants. So to perform um, t-test for independent sample, we go to data and we use our data analysis uh, function. Now, if you do not have this, uh, there is a way to install it and you can find it on uh, my earlier videos on how to install uh, this particular function. It's very simple, it's an add-in. So after doing so, so we can go to data analysis and then uh, first, uh, Let's check for the descriptive statistics. So click on descriptive statistics here and then click OK. Now this is supposed to be empty. So when you open that, it will be empty. It's not empty because I used this a while ago. So for input range, just specify the cells that contains the data. So up to this point, and then since our first row are labels, smoker, non-smoker, let's click on labels in first row, and then let's choose an output range. So I want my output to be seen somewhere here, and then click on summary statistics, and click OK. So this is our uh, statistical output for the descriptives. Let's remove this particular column. Okay. So you have here the data for smoker and non-smoker. So these are the means. Now I will remove some of this as some of them might not be very important. So just this. Basically what we need is our mean and our standard deviation. The rest we can do without. Maybe you'd like to retain count. Sorry. Okay. So what this is telling us is that there are we have 33 smokers and 27 non-smokers oh i'm sorry i had it um i had the date twisted so these are non-smokers i'm sorry about that This data are the smokers. I got it mixed up, which makes this. So let me just do that again. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Data analysis, descriptive statistics. Okay. Let's click OK there. So let's remove this column. 
<clears throat> and then let's remove some of the unnecessary cells so what I will retain is the means and standard deviation values and the uh, count okay so in here we can see that this is the mean uh, academic performance of non-smokers that is the mean academic performance of smokers these are their respective standard deviations we have 33 smoke uh, non-smokers and 27 smokers okay so our question would be if the difference between these means is something uh, do they differ in terms of uh, their academic performance because of the fact that uh, these group are non-smokers therefore theoretically might be associated to uh, being uh, performing better academically and them being smokers so hence we're asking is this difference in academic performance predicted by or influenced by their smoking behavior or could have this happened simply because of chance so to determine that, we have to perform t-test for independent samples. Now, they're independent because we have two samples and they are separate. No matching was done and they are separate samples. But before we can do so, we have to decide if it's t-test assuming equal variance or t-test assuming unequal variance. So for us to know that, let's first check the variances so choose F test to sample for variances click OK uh, let's clear this first again so for variable 1 let's choose this first column variable 2 range let's choose the next column and then click on labels again because our first uh, row are labels and for output range choose a cell I'm choosing this one so this now this test provides us information as to whether the variance says of the scores among non-smokers and smokers are the same so we look at our probability value our alpha is said to be 0 0.05 so at 0 0.09 it is higher than our alpha so the result is not significant therefore there is no significant difference in the in these variances therefore technically they are equal in terms of variance so now that we know that the variances are equal, we can now decide which t-test we will perform. So let's go back to data analysis. Now we have here two types of t-test for two sample. We have assuming equal variance and assuming unequal variance. Now since the variance are said to be technically equal, statistically equal, then we choose t-test for assuming equal variances. Now if this value happens to be less than 0 0.05 equal to or less than 0 0.05 then we would have to choose this type of t-test but it's not so let's choose this one click ok i will clear this again i used this a while ago okay so when you open that for the first time it would look like this so let's in uh, let's uh, enter our data so that's our first range of scores this is the second range of scores uh, sorry mm -hmm. and then for the next one the column of uh, smokers our hypothesized mean difference is zero based on our null hypothesis so that's basically default um, and then labels again of course and then our output range where do we want our output 
to appear here and click OK and this is now the result of our t-test for independent samples or t-test for two samples assuming equal variance so again this is the means of the mean academic performance of non-smokers the mean academic performance of smokers numerically the mean of non-smokers is higher but we want to know if it's significantly higher than the academic performance of non-smokers now assuming that we use a uh, an alpha level of 0 0.05 to tail then we should be looking at this particular result okay. maybe you should also highlight that so the result says that the likelihood of this happening by chance the likelihood that there is no significant difference between these two means is merely 0 0.01 which is less than our alpha of 0 0.05 therefore this is considered as a significant result and therefore we can also say that there is a significant difference between these measures of academic performance. Academic, of no, academic performance of non-smokers being significantly higher than the academic performance of smokers. Now the next part would be to determine what is the effect size. So we can compute for our Cohen's D. And to compete for our Cohen's D, we simply have to go to a certain website. The website is this one, danielsoper.com. And then there will be um, statistical calculators. Look for uh, effect size, uh, Cohen's D, calculator for a student T test. And it would bring you to a... Um, this page and you simply have to encode the mean of the first group the mean of the second group the standard deviation of the first group and the standard deviation of the second group which I got from this one okay. and then just click on calculate and it would give you your Cohen's D let's copy that So the rule in Cohen's D, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is if it's less than 0 0.2, there is a small effect. If it's between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8, there's a medium effect. And if it's beyond 0 0.8, there is a large effect. So this means that um, there was a medium effect. Okay. Now to write the expression, for this particular result this would be t and then the degrees of freedom parentheses degrees of freedom 58 there equals and then our t statistic this value 2.466 comma probability is equal to type in this value 0 0.017 let's round that off okay so with an alpha of 0 0.05 this result is significant suggesting that there is a significant difference in the means uh, in terms of academic performance of non-smokers and smokers and don't forget the effect size is medium okay so i hope that uh, this helps and uh, we'll talk about uh, other types of t-test particularly t-test for um, paired samples in our next tutorial